Good morning. Sun is literally about to rise. Right now it's like quarter to seven in the AM. However, pink sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. Welcome your faces back to a brand new day and a brand new video here in Italy. Today guys is the Gran Fondo Marco Pantani. It is a 152 kilometer route with 2,700 meters of climbing and according to my trusty weather forecast app on my phone. The rain is coming at about 11 o'clock, which if all things line up and that, you know, that works out and that works out to be the case, it's going to be dry for like the last 45 to one hour of the ride. So right now it doesn't look too bad. It looks dry. It looks fairly warm outside. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the weather gods are going to align up for me today and it's just going to stay dry because there's nothing worse than riding in the mountains and it's starting to rain. However, if that is the case, I have packed a rain jacket and um, I mean, yeah, we should be we should be good. We're in Italy, man. Why am I talking about, why am I complaining about rain? Let's go and get the bike and let's go jump on the start line. I take back what I said about the weather. It is raining. Yep, that's rain. So I'm starting with a rain jacket. Hopefully it's going to stop raining because four or five hours of this is certainly not cool. However, if it does continue to rain, I might just do the uh, I might just do the middle route, which is like, I mean, it's still 100K and like two and a half thousand meters of climbing. So it's not really a short ride by any stretch of the imagination, but it just doesn't have that extra 50K like the long route does. Don't know, we'll decide on the road. The pirate bike. <laughs> but they even got this guy here dressed as Pantani on one of his original bikes. And his original saddle. What a guy. So the start line right now, we're in the half past seven. There's a few thousand people doing this ride today, so we're right to the front. dropped about three quarters of the way to the top so I'm somewhere between the first and the second main group oh here they are all right taxis arrived so like I said when I was here in May it's to my understanding that once you get past under 23 in Italy there's no elite races there's only Grand Fondos so these Grand Fondos are basically like races for these guys in the first hour I averaged 312 watts 
in the first hour. We've done an hour. But anyway, found a nice little group. So I'm just gonna park myself here and try and stay warm. All right, the second climb is starting right now. I hope there's gonna be a little bit more chill than the first one. over and done with we just descended down here the side and then at the bottom of that climb was the split between the medium route and the long route everyone but one person in my group this over here decided to do the medium route and I was kind of inclined to do that anyway I didn't fancy a long solo day out on my own doing 150k in the mountains in this weather so yeah I'm being soft I'm being a sheep, I'm following the group and we're just cruising along this flat bit. Actually, we're hauling man, we're doing about 40 odd k an hour. I mean, right now I just slowed down to 38, 36, but you get the idea. We're pressing on. We're taking these k's away nicely. But despite the rain, it's still pretty sick. I'm still having fun. And that's the main thing. So I'm climbing what I think is the final climb of the day, which was also the first climb, the Pantani climb. There's a sign at the bottom that said it's 4.5k, average of 7% and max at 15. Pretty grippy climb to finish, as you can tell by my voice. The group has just absolutely detonated on this final climb. Everyone's starting racing, which is fun. But I'm just trying to set a nice tempo, keep the pedals turning. Yo, this is sick. You know it's the Pantani climb because it says Pantani everywhere. All right, top of the final climb. Little feed station there, but we're not going to stop. Straight through, straight through. This group's now down to five. I'm just gonna crack on to the finish, I think. Well, that's what it looks like anyway. All right, this end of time. Nice little group here in the last 10k. Everyone's taking turns, rolling through at about 45k an hour right now. We are being assisted by a tailwind, but we're shifting. We're bloody shifting. Yeehaw! <laughs> oh man, nearly home. Even though I only did a medium route today, it's been pretty hard. It's been pretty hard. Well, the guys I rode in with are going for the sprint. I just led them out, so I'm not getting involved. Not that I could. There we go. Yeah, boy. Job done. 100k in the bag. Here's some stats for your faces. Three hours, 25. 110, actually 110 kilometers, not 100. 32.1 average. 252 average power. 300 normalized. 225 TSS. Absolutely solid day on the bike. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't in cups now. At least it's dry for the finish though. That's the main thing. It's actually crazy like how much Pantani is kind of celebrated here. There's just, there's just pictures of him and statues everywhere, man. He's like a, well, I guess he is like a local hero, isn't he? But yeah, man, it's cool to see. It's cool to see just the support for cycling, you know, more than anything. But um, yeah, now that the sun's come out, kind of, kind of regretting doing the medium route and part of me thinks that I should have just done the uh, correct one and done the long route but then part of me thinks that I'm pretty cooked now so I have no idea how I'd feel if I did the long route. So the great thing about the hotel being so close to the start of the Grand Fondo is I could just literally ride back to the hotel, have a shower, get changed and now I'm going to ride back to the finish to watch the other guys, to watch the other guys finish. I didn't want to sit around in cold and wet kit because uh, especially after just recovering from being ill, I don't want to do that again. The best bit guys about finishing these Grand Fondos is they all have like what they call quote unquote pasta parties, which means once you finish, you get like a tray with some pasta amongst other various food items and some water. And the best thing about it all, if you rode the Grand Fondo, it's absolutely free. 
Cheers. Hey! How's that, man? You are here? Yeah. Fuck. How's that? Good? You have, you have fun? Yeah, fun? You have fun? No? 100. <laughs> What's the media? Like I said, everyone does these grand funders for different reasons. Some people just want to get around them. Some people want to go for a certain time, and other people are racing them. So right now, we've got the presentation for the guys that are racing. So this right here, guys, this is Pantani's parents. That's his mom and that's his dad. Top three lady finishers. Allora. Uh, there's your winner. So this is the top three males. Third, second and first. They're the winners. So despite the rain and the cold weather in the mountains, I still had an absolutely sick day riding the Grand Fondo Marco Pantani. Again, thank you so, so much to uh, the In, In Emilia Romagna tourism board for inviting me out to these. This is my third time this year, my third Grand Fondo in Italy. And as you, I'm sure you can tell in the videos, I have so much fun and I absolutely love being here with uh, with those guys. But I'm just cruising back to the hotel now. I feel like I need to have a lie down, maybe a, maybe a nap. But my bike, man, I mean, the camera probably doesn't really show it, but the bike is absolutely filthy. What a shame. All right, here we go. Look at this, it's just, yeah, not good filthy the whole thing's just absolutely filthy thankfully though the hotel has a bike wash station like i mentioned in the vlog yesterday heading home tomorrow morning so i'm not going to be doing any more riding here in italy so uh, the bike can go back in the bike box tonight however you should never travel with a dirty bike you should always clean your bike before you travel so before i put it back in the bike box i'm just going to give it a quick clean and uh get it looking a little bit nicer than this before i put it in the bike box and a quick bike wash later we're done, we're clean. Even got the chain looking absolutely fresh. There's absolutely everything you need here. Some bike wash, degreaser, brushes, and even towels to dry it with. So I'm just gonna take the bike, put it back up on the rack, wait for it to dry. And once it's dry, it can go in the bike box. Clean and fresh, and I, just, I don't have to think about washing my bike like when I get home. Shout out to the Lunga Ma Hotel for a sick but simple idea. A little bit of an update, guys. I basically spent my whole afternoon in my hotel bed watching the mixed team time throughout the World Championships. But right now, guys, I mean, it's like, all right, it's not too bad. I was about to say it's raining outside, but it's actually, it's actually dry and it doesn't even look like it's been raining. So what am I talking about? I have absolutely no clue, but what I do have a clue about is I feel sleepy and I feel like tired, but I can't... Like my thing is I can never sleep in the day, no matter how hard or little I try. So um, I'm just gonna get out and go for a walk. Check out the local amenities and just uh, do a little bit of exploring before I have to go home tomorrow. Hotel room, I will see you later. Turns out everywhere's shut. Apparently that like, we're coming out to, that, or to the end of the season now for Cesenetica, which is the place where we're staying. So um, as you can see, there's basically no one here and about 90% of the bars along the front are like shut and everyone's just, just closed up ready for winter. But there's not a lot going on. I mean, there's a couple of cafes and stuff, but it's like five o'clock in the afternoon. It's not really the time to be having coffee. But guys, that doesn't matter because I think, uh, I think I just got a text message then from the, from the group, from the guys that I'm with. I think we're about to head out somewhere. Oh, also it's just, it's just appeared to me, it's Sunday. That might also be why everywhere is shut. Dinner tonight at the hotel, guys. We've got some pizza on the buffet. Loads of different like fruit and vegetables and more vegetables, some potatoes, some meat down here. And then of course, with it being Italy, we got pasta. And then this is the dessert for after. It looks pretty sick. All right, the key to a successful buffet is getting a little bit of everything. Okay, so we didn't actually end up going out. Uh, we were supposed to be going to the Pantani Museum earlier on. However, last time I was here in Italy, we went to the Pantani Museum. So if you want to see that and see what we got up to when I was here in May, click up here and it will take you straight to that video where you can see me exploring the uh, Pantani Museum. However, I've just had dinner and I've come back down because my bike's uh, nice and dry now. So I'm going to pack it back in the back in the bike box because I leave here at like 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. However, I turn around, look at this like classic Bianchi with uh, with an original. Um, I mean, I'm guessing it looks pretty original. Uh, Marco Pantani Sella Italia uh, saddle. His like trademark piece was his uh, his saddle. So that is absolutely sick, guys. Isn't it like got the pirate cartoon there with Marco Pantani, a skull and crossbone, and then it says the pirate down each side. And um, I mean, I don't know if it's an, an original Bianchi frame, but either way, that's pretty cool. There's some absolutely sick bikes in here. The hotel doesn't just rent out any Pinarellos. This Pinarello F10 is down there. But anyway, the time has come. It's time to put the Colnago 
back in the bike box, ready to go back to the UK. 10 minutes later, the bike's in the box, ready to go home. But on that note guys, I'm gonna head back upstairs in the dark and I'm gonna go to bed because tomorrow I've got an early transfer uh, back to the airport and back to the UK for one day before I head on my next adventure. Uh, but next time Monica's coming. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. I thoroughly hope you enjoyed the Italy vlogs over the past few days. If you did, please be sure to leave a like on this video. It helps out massively. As always, guys, I really appreciate you watching these videos, every single one of you. Um, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow at the same usual time, back in the UK at 5 p.m. Peace!